Steve Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys, quick and dirty tips to work less and do more. Resolutions aren't enough. We need commitments. But before we can commit, we must choose the right thing to commit to. Then we need to commit in a way that will actually change our behavior. This New Year's, I relearned that lesson. And today, I'm going to share a bit of my own story. Working less and doing more has never been how I make my living. From 1999 to 2009, I was an executive coach and consultant, first working with high-growth entrepreneurs and later with business leaders of all sorts. Getting more done was one small piece. It gave people the time to work on the big stuff. Then this podcast show vastly exceeded expectations. I spent two years writing Get It Done Guys, Nine Steps to Work Less and Do More and creating information products around personal productivity, but it hasn't felt fulfilling. This New Year's, Samantha Horn, communications expert and organizer of the Maui Writers Conference, sat me down and taught me three things that are changing my life. Tip number one, live and work on purpose. Stever, she said, I read your book. Uh Uh-oh, a conversation that starts out like this can't go anywhere good. In your first chapter, you discuss living on purpose. I do. I tell readers how to find the purpose they think their current actions are filling, by asking the question why. And that's what Sam did. She asked, why did you work with entrepreneurs and leaders? Why did you launch Get It Done Guy? Well, it was simple. I love helping people do great things. Entrepreneurs and leaders do great things. And Get It Done Guy is a way to express my creativity. But the productivity products I developed were just a way to make money. There's no passion there. Well then, she said, okay, Sam, point taken. If what I love is helping people do great things, why not just do that directly? So this year, I'm refocusing my business on helping people live extraordinary lives, whatever that means to them. I'm taking a small number of clients, and I'm going to work closely with them to find and implement their big dreams, probably around business because that's where my background is, but pretty much around anything. And you can do the same. What are the goals that drive you in your life? Rather than making a resolution, spend some time asking why you do the things you do. The answer will help you uncover your deepest motivations. Then you can recraft your life around those motivations. If you don't own my book, never fear, unless a zombie army is scrambling towards your house, in which case fear is an appropriate response. Check out the free downloadable copy of Chapter 1, Live on Purpose. It's going to be included with this episode's transcript, and it will guide you through the process. So you don't even have to buy the book. You will still be able to do the Live on Purpose process. Tip number two, make a promise that will stick. Sam wasn't done. She pulled out a piece of paper and said, What's the ask? Excuse me? The what? I'm just asking. What will you commit to do? And on what time frame? Oh, futz. Public commitments are powerful. If I opened my mouth, I would have to deliver. It was decision time. I opened my mouth. I promised her my practice would be up and running by June 1st. I even got specific and said how many clients I would have, what kinds of things we would be working on, and what my income would be. How will I do it? I have no idea. But speaking the words immediately started reorienting my brain into get-it-done mode. Then she delivered the coup de grace. Well then, let's write that down and both sign it. I could hardly complain. She was just doing with me all of the same accountability tactics I know and use with my own clients. But hey... I'm the expert. I shouldn't actually have to do what works. It should just happen magically because of who I am. We wrote it down and we signed the promise. Tip number three, set limits in advance. I am not suggesting that you jump willy-nilly into your passion and try to make it your full-time profession. Many passions don't pay well. But if you're taking the long way around, now is the time to try going for it directly. But do it safely. Keep your day job and try it out a bit at a time. Set limits in advance. Decide how much time and money you're willing to lose completely in pursuit of your passion. That is your runway. Go pursue your passion and be on the lookout for every opportunity to make it succeed and to make it pay. When you've used all the time or money you were willing to lose, you now know that much more about your path and you can decide whether to try pursuing it full-time or make it a hobby and return to your full-time job. The runway I committed to with Sam is six months of time and living money. And now it's your turn. Once you've found your driving passions, find someone you trust and respect. Make them a promise about the steps you'll take to reach your passions more directly than you're doing now. You needn't make a total life change. 
just promise to take the first few steps with limits in place to keep you safe. Then, put your promise in writing and both of you sign it. You'll feel your entire being start to gear up to make it happen. When I got home after my conversation with Sam, my get-it-done brain said, You want people to live extraordinary lives? First, you have to get them in touch with their highest goals, because that is where extraordinary lives live. And what better time to do it than the start of a new year? This episode is step one. If you think you deserve an extraordinary life, make it happen. I and others can help guide you, but you are the only one who can make it real. So, download your free copy of chapter one of my book. Schedule an hour or two to create your life map. Choose a change you'll make for 2012 and make a public commitment with someone you trust and respect in writing to taking the first several steps. This is Steve Robbins. Download chapter one of my book today for free at this episode's transcript, getitdone.quickanddirtytips.com. I mentor successful people in building extraordinary lives by helping them uncover and move past their limiting beliefs that are sabotaging their progress. If you want to know more, visit steverrobbins.com. Work less, do more, and have a great life. Music